cats are heard calling from crates, then cheers. As 146 cats and 158 dogs rescued from Kabul touched down safely at YVR Tuesday after a whirlwind mission to save them in the wake of U.S. troops withdrawal from Afghanistan. Hey, you got this. Welcome to Canada. Well, we're definitely deeming this to be the most historic animal evacuation rescue mission of all time. So the process has been absolutely grueling. Victoria's Lori Califf with SPCA International spearheaded this operation. It took logistical planning over months, hiring a cargo plane to get these needy four-legged residents out of Afghanistan, where animal rescue groups have been caring for them since the summer, after many of their owners were forced to flee without them. Many of those evacuees have come to Canada, where like this young woman and her cat, they're now being reunited. They got a round of applause. There were so many tears. The family was just so excited and so grateful. Some are being cared for in a special facility in Vancouver where they're getting medical attention. We could not be happier with their progress and we look forward to seeing how they do moving forward. While well, many more are being sent to groups like Victoria's Cat's Cradle Animal Rescue. Well, we were contacted by them to see if we were able to take any animals and we jumped at the chance. Cat's Cradle has now distributed their Afghan arrivals, 36 cats and two dogs, to caring foster homes on Vancouver Island like Tracy and Kevin Ramsey in Langford. We've uh, got four cats in our care right now and I can only imagine the journey that they've experienced. So we've just brought them to a safe place. About a third of these Afghan rescues will be reunited with former owners now here in Canada, and the rest will be looking for new forever homes once they settle in. All thanks to a Herculean effort pulled off by animal lovers here and half a world away who believed really no one should be left behind.